What's going on guys? Hope you're doing fantastic today. All right, so I'm finally doing it. I've been sitting on this episode for some time now. It's finally done. The procrastination is over. I've actually had one subscriber tell me, hey Brian, you've been talking about doing that episode forever. I'm not going to say his name. Kind <clears> of. <throat> and he's right. It's time for me to tell you about my one year spent with Scentbird. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the ins, the outs, the do's, the don'ts, the good, the bad, and the ugly of my year with Scentbird. So stay tuned. Cue that intro. What's going on, my beautiful fragrance family? And welcome back to My Two Cents. My name is Brian, and this is the channel all about helping you boost your confidence through the art of fragrance and helping you become a lasting scent memory. I joined Scentbird August of 2020, and I just canceled my subscription of August 2021. So not too long ago, I wanted to see what it was all about, see if it was worth the money. So I spent a whole year with them. Before we get into this review though, I do want to tell you this. I'm not here to bash Scentbird. They are a business just trying to make money. But all I want to do is tell you and let you know how my year went. The good things I experienced and some of the bad things that I experienced. I just want to help inspire you to make the right choices on your fragrance journey. And now that that's all out of the way, it's time to get into advertising has us chasing cars and clothes, working jobs we hate to buy shit we don't need, whiffs and sniffs. Okay, for those of you who do not know what Scentbird is, I'm just going to give you a quick synopsis of what the brand's all about. Scentbird is a monthly subscription box. Yeah, it doesn't actually come in a box. It comes in something like this, a bubble wrap envelope, just like so. You can choose how many fragrances you want to get. You can get one or two, three, possibly even four each month. I went with two a month, and my total cost was right under $26. The monthly cost of Scentbird now is $15.95. I believe it was $14.95 when I started. I, I don't honestly remember. It just kept getting dropped out of my bank account. I didn't really pay attention to it. But you do get 25% off your first month. So $15.95 a month. Your first month, it's going to be $11.95. Pretty good deal. And what you get on your first box is you're gonna get a lipstick carrying case, just like this, with an atomizer in it. This is actually a scent box lipstick case. I don't know what happened to any of my Scentbird lipstick cases. I only got two because you only get one on your first month, but that's what it looks like. Then you're also gonna get something like this, where it says Scentbird on the side. I actually write my what fragrance it is on the side because that's one thing I didn't enjoy about it. These aren't labeled. You have to actually open it up, pull the atomizer out, and see what it is. And you get an 8 milliliter atomizer, just like so. As you can see, this is Raja Dove's Creation E Parfum Cologne. One of my favorite from Raja Dove. They offer men's and women's fragrances, designer, and niche. And sometimes some very high-end niche. I believe they have some indie brands, and I think that they actually have their own brand, but I, I couldn't tell you what it is. I didn't try any of them. And they have a lot of the you know top end designers. You're gonna get Burberry, you're gonna get Dolce & Gabbana, Versace, so on and so forth. And then as for niche, they have a pretty good selection in niche. You're gonna get Raja, but none of the high end Rajas, you're gonna get the Parfum Colognes or for the women, you're gonna get the Essence Collection. One brand that is really awesome that you can get from them is Sense of Wood. Sense of Wood only offers discovery sets on their website and they're $98. If you want with Scentbird, for $15.95 a month, you're getting an 8 milliliter sample, which is pretty freaking cool. But they also have like Etat Libre de Orange, etc, etc, etc. Sometimes they carry Creed, but I think the only Creed they ever carry is Aventus, but we'll get into that here in just a minute. I believe that there's like 150 sprays in each 8 milliliters, which I, that, I, that doesn't really sound right. Maybe it's 135 sprays. It's supposed to last you one month. So that's Scentbird in a nutshell. Oh. You can also cancel your subscription whenever you want. That's also a plus. So now it's time to get into the good, the bad, and the ugly. We're going to start out with the good. They offer a large portfolio of designer fragrances and a lot of niche fragrances. Some actually interesting, unique niche brands like Sense of Wood, Etat Libre de Orange, Arquise, and then they also have Carner Barcelona, which I love me some Carner Barcelona. I think eight milliliters of juice is actually a good amount. It's a great amount to test drive throughout a month if you wanted to. And the reason I went through one 8 mil atomizer, not only did I love the juice, I wanted to see if it actually lasts me a month. And it did. But it all depends on how you spray. 
I believe that Scentbird is a good way to test drive your fragrances, but I have better and more affordable ways of doing so, but we'll get into that in a minute. The price is good if you buy certain fragrances, which takes me into the bad. The price is not worth 85% of the fragrances that they have in their catalog. They have many designers that you can get at discounters that you can find at rack stores and it would actually be more affordable to blind buy these fragrances per milliliter than it would be just getting eight milliliters of it. Because honestly, if you don't like it, you can sell it, probably get your money back or you could decan it out and make some money. They have a lot of Prada. They have a lot of Versace, Bulgari. English Laundry, which pop up at rack stores all the time. I got my English Laundry London for $6 for 100 ml at a rack store. They had it in their catalog and it, you know, $15.95 for 8 mls. That doesn't even make sense. So I, I think them having English Laundry that is kind of dumb to be honest with you, but that's just my opinion, just saying. But if you're really uncertain, if you're very uncertain with a certain fragrance and you really want to test drive it, Scentbird could be a good avenue, but there's better avenues. And the option I would choose is going to decanners. And where I would recommend for you to go get your decans, because I have a 17% off discount code, is DecanX. You can get pretty much everything that's designer that Scentbird has from DecanX for better prices. You're not necessarily going to find the same niche brands, but it's actually cheaper to go through DecanX for certain niche brands. Now, like Sense of Wood. You can't find Sense of Wood anywhere, but basically Scentbird and from Sense of Wood. I mean, there's a few people out there. You could probably find them on Facebook groups, possibly on eBay if you really look. But, but honestly, at that point, I would just go with Scentbird. If you were to join up just to get all the Sense of Wood, I would not blame you whatsoever because they make phenomenal fragrances. But everything else, like if you're going to get Creed Aventus, if you get Creed Aventus through Scentbird, they charge you an extra $15, maybe $20 a month just for an 8 mil of Aventus. That's ridiculous. In my opinion, if I were a business, and I, I, I'm sure they're not getting all their fragrances at full retail, I'm sure they're getting a discount on it, but they're charging their customers full retail pricing. If I were them, I would just go ahead and sell it at normal price and take the loss. Just saying, again, that's my opinion. You can go over to DecanX, get Creed Aventus, if that's what your heart desires, and you can use my discount code, 2 cents 17 It's always in the description. I'll leave it here at the bottom of the screen for you. I'll also have to say, a lot of their niche offerings aren't necessarily worth it. Because if you break it down per milliliter, you're like, I'm paying $16 for 8 mLs. When I could get the whole bottle at a discounter for like $80, $90, I mean, it's something to think about. And now let's talk about the ugly. Their shipping sucks. I would get a confirmation the beginning of the month saying, hey, we have processed your order. I think it went through between the third or the fifth of the month. I would see the tracking and tracking. I, it wouldn't show up for like three weeks. There was one time I got it on the very last day of the month. Usually I would get it in the last week of the month. And then it would, the process would start over. So I was waiting like three weeks in between my car getting charged to me receiving my fragrance. And it's coming out of like New York, I believe, or New Jersey, one of the two. And I didn't really understand that, but their shipping was terrible. And on one occasion, I got two on wash fragrances. And one of those was Journeyman. And Journeyman did not make the journey very well because half of the decant spilled all inside its packaging. I mean, I smelled Journeyman before I even opened the package. So what did I do? I emailed Scentbird customer service. I also left a kind of negative comment, which I never do, never. I still tip like 30% if I get bad service out of the restaurant. Just saying. I wasn't a complete douchebag to them, but I voiced my concern. I never heard back from them, not once. They never emailed me, nothing. And I just left it at that. I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to stay positive and I'm going to continue my membership. So I did. Another thing I did not enjoy about it, but I understand why they do it. You can only get the same fragrance once. You can't purchase it again. You can't add it into your queue again. You get one eight milliliter decant of the fragrance you choose, but you can only get it once, which I understand. They're, what they're trying to do is entice you to get a full bottle of said fragrance. I totally get that. And I'm sure that they garner some money from a lot of these brands. They're a business. I totally get that as well. If you went with a decant site, you can get it as many times as you want. 
So there's that. And that's pretty much the ugly. With Scentbird, you really don't get your money's worth with certain fragrances. Their shipping is not great. Their customer service, from my opinion, from my viewpoint, was not stellar. But I do have some friends who I actually recommended using it, and they were very happy with their experience. You get eight milliliters, which is a positive, because that's enough to test drive for a month, but you'd only get to get the same fragrance once. They do have Sense of Wood, which is pretty much the only reason I would ever get Scentbird again, but a lot of their other niche options, you'd be better off checking decant sites or going to, to discounters and just getting a full bottle. There are options if you don't enjoy it. And again, I'm not recommending that you blind buy a fragrance, but if you do get a fragrance that you don't enjoy, you can always sell it, try Mercari or places like that, even eBay, or you can always decant it out. That is a video for another day. I highly recommend Decant X and you get a 17% off discount code. I get no money from it. I'm not making anything from it. It's just there to help you along your fragrance journey. But if you were thinking about getting into Scentbird, especially if you're brand new into fragrances, it could be a great option for you. Just be wary of what you're getting. Check your rack stores, check your discounters before you get those English laundries or that Versace Eau Fresh, because you can find them at rack stores and discounters for really good price, especially those English laundries. I would never get an English laundry through Scentbird or any monthly fragrance subscription. That, yeah, that just would never happen. So I guess the question would be, do I recommend Scentbird? No, I don't. And I'm not trying to bash Scentbird. I just did not have a great experience. I have kind of seen the ins and outs, but I will say this, they are providing a great service especially for those of you who are just beginning your fragrance journey. Semper could be a good option for that. But go with your niche fragrances. Don't really go with those designer fragrances. Go to your local department store, ask them for a sample, and test drive that way. That's just my recommendation. I will have to say this. I do appreciate that they are helping people along their fragrance journey. Because fragrances, I'm super passionate about them. Any company that's out there trying to help people along their way, I gotta say thank you. But be smart with your money, be smart along your fragrance journey, and subscribe to My Two Cents because that's what I'm here for. But that is it, guys. That is my one year with Semper. I hope it helps inspire you guys, anybody out there thinking about joining. Again, not trying to bash them. Let me know what your thoughts are on Scentbird. Are you a member? Are you Have you done it before? Did you enjoy your experience? Let me know. Drop a comment down below. But that's it for me. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. If you enjoyed today's episode, then do me a favor. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And always remember you are stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails.